choose to make wine that speaks of power. Big alcohol, big fruit, heavy use of oak. And indeed, the larger you are, the more you're in the business of having an oak barrel be your friend because at some point, if you're picking from vineyards that are very different, the barrel is the way you're going to have it be tasting the same. When you harvest and the, and the level of toast, that level of sweetness, the complexity of fruit is more compelling and more true to your site. So when we talk about a state, that's the key because we own the vineyard, we're making the best wine from that block. We're not buying from other farmers and using the barrel to create a blend that says, oh, that's the famous wine. Every year will be different. Agriculture is playing tennis with God, and God always gets to serve, so we must respond yes. to, the, to the vintage. Yes, yes. So every year we don't try to make the same one, every year we try to make the best one. And so it's a function of your size, that your goal is to make wine that is astounding every year, not the same. And so I love that these wines on the highest level are so articulate, and they give you such a, a complex layering of delicate flavors. So if you are a drinker, you will never understand. But the way to get people to begin is to have them think about what is the last thing you taste? Because we're so focused on, on the front of the palate because the front of the tongue says yes. But if you think about the back of the palate, if the last thing you taste is oak or is it fruit or is it soil, what's the last thing you taste? And notice that it, you taste this for at least 60 seconds because it has the complexity of it. Yes, yes. And so, uh, again, it's about getting people to slow down and experience. So the difference between an entry-level wine and a flagship wine is the amount of time that uh, aroma and that taste keeps developing in your tongue. On your tongue Absolutely. You, ha you have a tête de cuvée because you have the opportunity to capture the most complex part of your vineyard. And so all the work that we do uh, is to is to make wine the best we can with some, that block. But as we walked today, we saw that one, some blocks are more quiet in terms of the soil, and some blocks are more complex. And so, because we are familiar with the property, we know the complex blocks, and so we want the blocks to showcase that in the And so, part of our job as well is to show the guest. This is a more complex and more beautiful flavor because people will thank you, yeah. right? You say this is more beautiful. Oh, it is more beautiful. Thank you. So sometimes you have a, someone that's used to spending $25 or $50 and suddenly they taste 100 or 200 or 300 bottle of wine. They need to taste $200 worth of flavor. Mm -hmm. Right? But once they do, they, they, then There's they no notice what's missing, uh -huh. right? Yes. They go, right? And when you're just uh, drinking, you don't know what's not there. It's the sign of a professional that notices what's not there. And so, right?